Welcome to Mr. Dinosaur Nation! So, funny story. I thought today was Tuesday. Hi, Esther. Welcome to day number two of Dinosaur Nation. Um, it may look a little creepy behind me. That is because currently I'm in the basement. Yeah, I'm pushing limits once again to 11.32. I don't even know if YouTube is going to take this in time, even if I do happen to talk to you straight for three minutes without screwing up or swearing or stuttering or sitting there and looking blankly at the camera. Dang it. Anyway, okay, so you're right. I may have panicked a little bit. The coin toss is not actually that hard. But you do have a point. While we live next to each other, we really don't know anything about each other. I mean, I know you're really funny, and you like wigs, and you want to be a veterinarian, I think. Yeah, you do. For little animals, though, you don't like cows so much. They're big and cowy. I like cows. I like steak, really. So, uh, I'm sensing that my hardest thing about this whole YouTube experience is going to be the time limits, which you clearly have no problem with, but are kind of the bane of my existence, because I really don't understand the concept of time. If I say let's go to dinner at 5, I mean 5-ish, give me 15 minutes. There are really only two places in my life that I do things on time, and that is get to class and to the airport, because I always get to the airport early. Yeah. Other than that, just count on me being there within 15 minutes after the scheduled time. I'm trying to work on that. I like to write. Because you can be creative and make things up, and it's not like a math problem where it's like right or wrong. And because of that, I'm an English major, international studies minor. I want to take the two, travel in ground, do some freelance journalism, connect people, situations, so instead of going out and buying a, let's save the environment or give love a chance t-shirt, you can actually put your money into some people that you can get to know on a name face basis if you want to. Or you can, you know, go actually out there and do some life with them and help them build things. And, you know, it's kind of like charity work, kind of like missions work, but just for people that may not be connected with churches or people that just kind of want to go out and do that stuff. I mean, it's not like it's not been done before, but it's just something I really feel drawn to doing. I would like to get involved with that. And I can give an entire video. I've actually done like seven rants, which sounded all like, I'm young and want to save the world. And so I decided to edit them out. And I can tell you more about that later. But essentially, that's who I want to be when I grow up. Or a novelist. And buy a house by the beach. And sleep in a hammock. Eat ice cream. And surf all day. And write novels at night. And become rich and famous like J.K. Rowling. Because she's amazing. Yeah, that'd be nice, too. So I guess my question for you, Esther, is what do you want to be when you grow up? I mean, I feel like you do want to be a veterinarian, but you could have something totally different of mine. And the fact that you're awesome means you can pretty much do whatever you want, in my opinion. And tell me something about you that I don't know. I mean, I know you juggle, and you can crochet these cool little animal things, and you wear glasses. And you play the ukulele. I don't know, man. Surprise me with something even more awesome than that. And I won't give you a dollar because I don't have one, but... I'll be happy. And then I'll probably get hit by a deer. 